So we got more than 20 likes on the video. Let's make that tutorial. So in this video I'm going to give a tutorial on how to play the song My Immortal by Evanescence. We are going to split it up into different parts because otherwise the video will be too long. Uh, first of all I want to point out that I am not a professional piano player uh, or, git or guitar player uh, slash singer. Uh, it's always just been a hobby of mine to do so. All right. Uh, also, I want to point out that uh, the, the way I play it, is it exactly like Amy Lee plays it from Evanescence? Probably not. There are probably some differences in it, but I think it's close enough to uh, give a tutorial and to uh, support the singing part as well. So we are not going to have the, me the melody of the voice in uh, this piece of piano because I'd like to sing myself with it and not play the singing part, all right? So, we are going to start off with the intro slash verse slash outro because it's basically the same thing. And uh, it also happens to be the most recognizable part and the easiest part to play of this song. So that's a good thing because if you can play this, then people will instantly recognize uh, the song that you're playing if they know the song. So. We are going to start off by playing it with both hands at normal speed. It sounds like this. Okay, so that's basically it. But we're going to break it down and we're going to start off with just my right hand, then I'm going to do my left hand and then we're going to try it uh, to do the combination of the two, all right? So, in my right hand is the melody, and in my left hand is the supportive part to the melody. So, I'm going to start off here with my right hand. Uh, we're going to just do it note by note, then go slowly, and then go a little bit more fast. So, we start off with the first part being F sharp, A, D, A. F sharp, A, D, A. So that's the first part. Then we have F sharp, A, C sharp, A, F sharp. And then we hold for a second. A little more rest there. Then we have a little variation of this. We have F sharp, A, D, uh, D A. And then we go to E, A, D, A. And then the second part is the same as before, being F sharp, A, C sharp, A, F sharp. All right? So if we do that slowly, we have. Hold. Right? So, that's recognizable. Now we're going to do the left hand, which is much easier. There are only two different chords that we're going to use. You're going to notice in the next videos as well that my left hand will always uh, be placed as an octave. So, my pinky will be on the lower uh, octave note, being D in this case, and my thumb on the octave higher also the D, yeah? Here in this case, my uh, pointing finger is on the A in between that. And we're going to just play them separately. So we have here to start off E, A, E, but an octave. Then we're going to uh, replace our hands a little bit higher on the F sharps with pinky and thumb. And then we have F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. All right, so then we have Again, E, A, E, uh, D, excuse me, D, A, D, and then again, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. So that's practically uh, the same thing for the whole 
uh, intro and verse slash outro. So if we combine those hands slowly, then we get Right. Now we're going to uh, pick it up and go a little bit faster. So we have normal speed. Okay. So now I didn't do uh, the uses of my pedal with my right foot. Um, but I'm going to leave that to the side. Maybe I'll do a separate uh, tutorial on how to use your pedal on the on a piano. But for now, just focus on uh, the notes here. Now, this is the biggest uh, thing that you have that you have to learn about this intro slash verse and outro. But there are slight slight differences. Uh, or uh, notes that we're adding just before a bridge or as the outro ends. Um, for example, we have just before we go to the next part, uh, we just have the, the verse here. Yeah. And then the part after is this one. This, which is the bridge to the chorus, actually, okay? But the first time we have this bridge, uh, I put an extra note in between just to connect the two parts together. So, normally we would have uh, this. I'm going to start by the second part. Right? So, but the way I play it, the first verse, only the first verse, because in the second verse uh, I don't play that note, we have... So, did you hear the, the extra note that I played here, which was the uh, C sharp in between? So. Normally I end on my F sharp, but after this one I also played a note which is the C sharp uh, to get the connection that we need for the next part. All right. So then the other thing that's a little bit different is uh, at the end of the song, uh, which also uh, is the same thing here basically, but then we end with a few other notes which will, you will hear here. Okay, so what's different? Uh, it's basically all in my right hand, the difference. So normally we have the ending on my F sharp, but I'm going to continue here with A, E, A, and then the chord of D, which is F sharp, uh, A, D in this case. And you can separate the notes or play them together. Uh, I'd like to separate them. So, which is going to be then with my uh, left hand together will be. F sharp, A, E, A, and then the chord D. And I'm going to support it with my left hand. Normally we have the D here, but we're going to go two octaves lower. Also on the Ds. Uh, with my pinky and my thumb, which is going to be my ending chord. Okay, so we're going to play that one more time, the ending, uh, starting off with normal outro. Alright, so you noticed maybe that, I'll, uh, that I uh, slowed down a little bit towards the end. That's something that happens a lot of the time in, uh, in songs. So that was the intro slash verse outro. Uh, the next video, video that I'm going to do is the bridge to the chorus, which is a little bit more difficult than this part. 
but we're going to do our best to uh, keep up the pace and try our best. All right, thank you very much. See you next time, bye. <laughs>